All right, guys. For Tuesday's workout, we're gonna start with our gymnastic strength. So, uh, part one, we're gonna do three sets of five strict pull-ups. Want to make these challenging. So, whether you're using a band tension that feels hard to kind of do the pull-up, or you're doing strict pull-ups and you're working your way up to that, um, we're gonna do three sets of five there. If you're finding it it's easy, like the last rep is maybe challenging, move up a progression. So maybe you want to do it weighted or you want to go chest the bar pull up or reduce the band tension that you're using to make it a little more challenging. After those three sets of five, we're going to go three sets of 10 to 20 ring rows. And the goal of this is to just work on muscle endurance, building the muscles in our back to be able to sustain the number of reps that we're doing and also to help increase our capacity. So. Look back at last week, see if you can, um, or two weeks ago, see if you can do maybe one or two more reps than last time. You do want to get to a point where it feels like you have only one or nothing left in the tank, um, just so that we can kind of work on that muscle endurance. If we're not challenging that as much, we're not going to force our body to adapt to it. So make sure you're getting to that stage where you have um, zero reps or one rep left in reserve um, before you take a rest and do your next set. After we're done the strength, our workout today is going to be a little bit of a mix of weightlifting and gymnastics. We got an AMRAP 10, max unbroken sumo deadlift high pulls. So you're going to try to do uh, as many as you can. And then when you have to take a rest, we're going to do 20 V-sits before we get to go into our next attempt of doing it. So the goal of this one is to try and get as many sumo deadlift high pulls done as possible. Um, I want you to get close to your max every single time you do a set. This is a nice movement to build upper body strength, leg strength, a lot of things are moving while you do this. So you're gonna feel it in different areas. I find I feel this like in the legs a lot, in my glutes, just because I'm popping my hips every single time. And then eventually my forearms start to blow up with this one. So nice thing is that the V-sits don't really require too much of your forearms or your glutes too much, it's just more core. So you get a little bit of a break, but to get into the next round, you do need to do those V-sits to get there. Um, Score is your number of high pulls, so really try to push yourself to see how far you can get in this one. Um, I would say a number to aim for could be 100, 100 reps in this workout today. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one.